Hi guys, today let us solve numericals based on the concept of motion due to gravity. Now, a ball is thrown vertically into air at 36 meter per second. After 3 seconds, another ball is thrown vertically up. With what velocity must the second ball have to pass the first at 30 meters from the ground? Hence, in the question, they have given us that a ball, say ball 1, is first thrown vertically into the air at a velocity of 36 meter per second. After 3 seconds of throwing the first ball, another ball will be thrown vertically upwards. Hence, they have asked us that with what velocity must the second ball have to pass the first ball at 30 meters from the ground. Hence, now the distance will be 30 meters, that is s. Let t be the time taken by the first ball to reach that distance. The second ball is thrown after 3 seconds the first ball is thrown and hence t minus 3 will be the time for the second ball to reach the distance. Consider the first ball. The initial velocity is u that is 36 meter per second. Hence applying the equations of motion we have s is equal to ut plus half a t square. Here since the problem is related to gravity acceleration is replaced by acceleration due to gravity that is g and since the ball is thrown up this will be acting in the downward direction that is the opposite direction and hence s can be given as ut minus half gt square. Hence substituting the values we have 30 is equal to u that is 36 into t minus half into the value of g that is 9.81 into t square. Hence we have 4.905 t square minus 36t plus 30 equals 0. Hence upon solving the quadratic equation we have the value of t to be 6.38 seconds. Hence, the time taken for the first ball to reach this distance will be 6.38 seconds. Hence, now for the second ball, the time should be t minus 3, that is 6.38 seconds minus 3, which will be 3.38 seconds. Hence, the ball should be thrown with a velocity such that it will reach the 30 meter point in a time of 3.38 seconds. Hence now, using the equations of motion, similarly, we have s is equal to ut minus half gt square. That is nothing but s30 equals 3.38 into u minus half into 9.81 into 3.38 square. Hence, we get 3.38u to be 86.04 and hence the value of u to be 25.45 meter per second. Hence, the second ball should be thrown with this velocity in order for it to pass the first ball at a distance of 30 meters from the point at which is thrown. Thank you. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magazine videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start at class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.n.